Hello YouTube, um, this is Free Homebrew again and since we've already covered most of the features in the Fractaria world generator I thought I'd show you how to download and install uh, Fractaria um, and then how to use it. So I'm gonna assume you've already gotten Omnitool or know how to get it since it's, a, um, it's an Omnitool uh, plugin. So uh, here we go. First thing you want to do is you want to find it and install it. You go to my channel and there's the link to the Fractaria thread uh, covering the uh, Fractaria plugin. It's an Omnitool plugin. Um, it's on terrariaonline.com. Uh, there's, there's an image of a generated world along with some uh, features and explanations and, and, and how to download and install instruction. Basically you download this plugin over here and to wherever you extract it you're gonna open it in, in some kind of piece of software, open it, and you're gonna find this Fractaria.py and the Fractaria library. So you copy these two and you browse to your Omnitool folder uh, which for me is in program files and then Omnitool and here's my Omnitool folder and the Omnitool folder has a plugins folder and this is where you want to put both of these um, both of these downloaded items so here's the Fractaria.py and here's the Fractaria library this library contains um, a maze generator and several math functions. It also contains the fractal generator uh, used to generate patterns on the surface and in the caves and whatnot. So this is the entire library, and this is um, this is the plugin itself. So when you start Omnitool, I'm, go I'm gonna explain how to use it. So when you start up Omni Omnitool. Um, uh, when you go to Omnitool, you'll get this uh, screen over here, uh, which is basically some sort of command line uh, output, textual output, and you'll find a list of plugins. And in this plugin, you'll find Fractaria, so it, it, it should automatically be listed. Um, I'm gonna run it and see what we get. So. There's a whole bunch of buttons over here. I'm gonna explain this one first since it's. Uh, I'm gonna turn it off. Developer mode on and off. This will uh, toggle uh, if you can set all these settings over here. And at this t at this time we don't want to set any. Um, there's the world size button. It uh, or uh, the actually it's just some sort of, sort of scroll bar. Uh, it's either large, medium, or small, and the sizes are the same as in the original uh, world generator. There's the surface stability. Uh, this one requires some explanation. Uh, let's see if we can switch back to this one. Um, yeah, so this is these worlds have been generated using the Fractaria world generator. This is a small world. Uh, 4200 times 1200 and this is a big one 8400 times 2400 and you can clearly make out the overall shape is a cup and the surface stability if it's low that means the surface will be pretty unstable such as in this one where there's a mountain uh, and several other mountains and this one is uh, far more stable and the stability uh, how it works is when when this world is generated it will plot several marks along this curve and in between these uh, marks it will generate fractals so uh, the more marks you have the more uh, stable the surface will be so in, in high surface stability there will be a lot of points and that means the fractals will be smaller and hence the surface will be more stable with a low stability of course you've got far fewer um, points and hence it will be more unstable. The snow button should be pretty obvious. Uh, there's this this feature about hell. Uh, hell homes is what we've seen in the hell video 
and health spikes is a new feature added to uh, to this plugin by the other programmer. I think it's a nice feature, and I'll show you what it generates in this in this new world. Let's toggle developer mode. Um, there's also the select all and the select none buttons, and you can clearly tell what this does. So I'm gonna select all uh, except snow to generate our world. Um, yeah. So how these lists works is uh, basically uh, the top one uh, or two toggle um, all the features in the uh, subsequent list. So you've got this hell layer and this features of the hell layer. You've got this rock layer and the features of the rock layer, dirt layer and rock la dirt layer features, surface and surface features. So if you toggle this one, uh, the surface will not generate. If you toggle this one, the dirt layer will not generate, etc. Um, basic layers is uh, it will generate dirt, stone, and hell. Uh, surface it, it will generate the surface, generate trees, generate the spawn point, generate the desert, generate pots, generate chests. Uh, these should all be pretty obvious. Um, then there's the dirt layer. It will generate pots and chests in the dirt layer. Um, it will generate stones and dirt in the stone in the rock layer. There's uh, pots and chests in the rock layer. There's uh, hell, hell layer chests, which are the shadow chests. And then there's the extra features, which are the glowing mushrooms. You can toggle those. You can toggle the volcano. You can toggle demon altars. You can toggle the dungeon. You can toggle the life crystals. You can toggle statues, which are most common in the dungeon. And you can toggle the meteorite mine. So that's uh, that's the basic features of this um, of this plugin. Now let's see it generate the world. And uh, there's there's a whole bunch of textual output in this list. And you can tell what it's doing by this uh, list, or you can uh, just browse and see the features of the world in advance. So you, we already know the number of rooms in the dungeon will be four. Uh, there's 381 uh, meteorite in the meteorite mine. There's 408 chests, uh, which is which it's placing right now. Um, there's let let's see. There's the desert. There's three deserts. Um, uh, two, one is 215. The other one's 189. The other one's the last one is 120 uh, blocks wide. Uh, there's ores. There's uh, precious stones. Uh, so yeah, it's it's. Uh, it's it's pretty fairly obvious what it's doing. There's also a log file uh, in case you want to see. There's writing debug messages to blah blah blah. So there's there's a txt file containing the log. Uh, it's done writing, so it's um, it's generated a world, and I'm gonna check it out. Uh, I'm gonna check it out in Terra Firma. Today is August eighth, so. That's in the file name, and it's oh, what time is it? Uh, Twenty-one fifty. Yeah, it's uh, it's ten to ten at night. So this is the new world, a deep well. Uh, you can you can clearly tell this one is uh, is vastly more unstable than the previous world, the large one. You've got these massive cliffs everywhere gigantic hills uh, now this is not a default feature and it will always generate these three arms sometimes it will generate more arms sometimes fewer uh, so yeah um, we've got the two deserts over here we've got the desert over here so that, that's the three deserts it generated the volcano Obviously, in a smaller world, you'll get sm fewer uh, fewer hailstones. It's it's pretty steep as well. Let's see the dungeon with four rooms, including two um, 
two mazes, so it's actually just two rooms and two mazes. Um, so yeah, the new feature are these hell stones, uh, the, these hell spikes, which are more challenging than the hell homes, I think, since uh, these are more protru protruding. Um, so yeah, th these will pose a more a greater challenge, I think, especially this area over here or this one over here. Um, so yeah, in these hell homes you can find uh, hell forges and shadow chests. Um, let's see, I've got the other world uh, generated. Oh yeah, there's the uh, mine. This mine is also significantly smaller. It may or may not be as complex as the larger ones. So, because it's smaller, it will also be denser when the complexity is about as high as the other one. Uh, let's see, open world. I've got the other one uh, as well. I want to show you this one because it's it's different. Um, we've got two deserts this time, and we've got more arms in this in this um, mine. So uh, let's see. I think that's about it. The dungeon color is of course always at random. Most features are at random, so uh, usually the worlds will be very distinct from each other. Well, except for the overall planning, that the the jungle will always be on the left side and the dungeon will always be on the right side and whatnot. So, but but the uh, for example these will, yeah, the main differences will be in the caves and these these things will be at different spots. And the hell will be vastly different. So that's um that's basically how you use OmniTool and the OmniTool plugin, uh, Fractaria. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions, uh, please let me know in the comments section. Um, and yeah, comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!